previously, previously during Zach the investigation. Of you. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Greenwood. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? This is the Zach the one. Oh God. We're back in creepy room. Just add this. We got Angel Isaac. Okay. It's my coffee. Oh, sugar donut. Mmm, donut. Well, I guess we go this way, guys. The Zack is the friends we made along the way. York. York. Yeah, yes. Yes, little child. Don't breathe. Hold your breath. They can't see you if you hold your breath. Oh, oh great. What button Hurry. holds my breath? Like this. Cover your mouth. How long can I hold my breath? Who are you? Who are you? Oh, that's a mood right there. That's a nice big bed, yo. Hook me up. Oh, I thought that was like weird. Okay. I thought we were like looking at his feet and there was going to be someone coming. Zach, to eat. the symbolism in my dreams continues to intensify. A forest of red trees. A carpet with red leaves. A strange doll. And twin angels. But that child is what bothers me the most. He's the killer. I swear I've seen him before. I just can't remember where. Get your, oh my god. Let's head to the cafeteria, Zach. <laughs> Look at my tie. I hope they have some real coffee. I really need some coffee. Then we can head to the sheriff's office. There's a proper procedure for everything, right, Zach? <laughs> To get my suitcase fixed my tie. Oh, I can change what clothes I'm wearing. We're gonna take care of the three S's before we start our day. You have a very particular way of opening doors. I don't want sparkling. I want coffee. Good morning, Mr. Oh, Morgan. God. Your breakfast oh, is God. ready for She's you. She's coming for me. She walks like the zombies. Holly Oxford. Thank you, Mrs. Polly Oxford. Just Polly is fine. Well then. Thank you, Polly. I'm starving. Is everything all right, Mr. Morgan? If you're sitting that far away. Yes. It's delicious, Polly. You can't speak this my quiet. Compliments to the chef. I'm hoping my cooking will bring back repeat guests. I couldn't help but notice. Aside from you and me, there seems to be no other guests or workers around. What's the help? that? <laughs> Yeah, see? Salt in that white shaker I told you you have to Thank speak you. up. 
Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little <laughs> That's what here. I said! Oh my, Mr. Morgan, you're embarrassing me. I can hardly hear you from all the way over there. You're exaggerating. This is fine. <laughs> it won't do to be all clumped together with such a large table and cafeteria. We have to make use of all this space. <sighs> Say, Polly, what can you tell me about this town? Well, let me see. You might know this already. This town <laughs> Thanks. is called Greenvale. Thanks. I suppose the clock on the community center is quite famous, too. The clock? Oh, yes, it's lovely. It rings in the morning and at night to let the whole town know the time. Really? The clock lets us know what time it is. It's a beautiful sound. And you'll love it, too, I think. Could you tell me about the shops around here? Shops? Well, there aren't many. It is a small town, after all. Well, you have you to buy stuff. You can do most of your shopping at the Milk Barn convenience Oh, the Milk store. Barn. The couple who run it are a unique pair. I'm sure you'll get to like them. The A&G Diner is a great place to eat. They might be open even if my kitchen is closed. Oh, if you wow. want to go to a bar, there are two. The Galaxy of <laughs> Small town, but they can support two bars. <laughs> Well, Mr. Carries his Morgan, own ashtray. I better start cleaning up. How considerate. You just take it easy. I'll bring your coffee out in a moment. Finally! Polly. I have to warn coffee. you, though. I am very particular about my coffee. The very best you have, please. I understand. I'll be right back with it. I'm ready for the worst coffee I ever had. That's a big thing of cream. You want a little coffee to go with that cream? What's the coffee go tell us today? Look with interest! My coffee tells me... Did you see that, Zach? Clear as a crisp spring morning. F. K. In the coffee. Clearly! I knew I could count on it. Never fails. Clearly! That was then, clear as day! Let's get going. <laughs> I, I clearly saw that! Oh, we have a food and a sleep monitor now. I can't even observe the piano! Worst game of 2023. God, do you have to stand like that? <gasps> it's the TV from Grandpa's house. <coughs> we can check the weather. Today's fun. Clear day. Perfect day to have a walk. Extra money for checking the weather. Okay. Uh, there is... Egg. <laughs> You got egg. All right, do you, do you want something? Oh, uh, what do you have? You have stabilizers. Why the heck do you sell stabilizers? Cheese? That's a lot of money for a cheese. <laughs> uh, uh. The police car. Is it for me? Or, oh, it is for me! The police car is for me! How much effort did they put into this driving of this car? Talk, headlights. This is a lot to take in, okay? This is a lot to take in. Yellow. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. So, Zach, about those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. <laughs> what? You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. <clears throat> We're going to... What movie are we watching now? There's the bar. Oh, what the... Learn to drive, jerk! Did you see that? That was not my fault. <clears throat> we made it to the sheriff's department. Driving success! That's one fine building for such a small <coughs> town. The exterior woodwork is spectacular. Don't you agree, Zach? It, it, it's pretty good, yeah. I, I kind of agree.
Uh, oh god. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. The manliest run ever. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Y yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay, let me know when things are ready. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Zach, Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type. <laughs> totally that's that's one way of putting it. Are. Hello there, Emily. Could you perhaps show me around the office before the meeting starts? <coughs> I'm sorry, Agent. <coughs> I'm sorry, Agent York. I've got my hands full. Could you ask Thomas? I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, hi, what's going on? He lost the keys to the cabinet with the files and asked me to take a look around the office till he finds it. Oh, I hope it doesn't take too long. <laughs> Don't know where the accent came from. Hey there. What the? George, do you work out every day? What the? Of course, Agent. <laughs> Why did he just start squatting in front of me? I haven't missed a day since I started in high school. Now that's impressive. Remind me to get more exercise, Zach. I haven't seen Arnold around since yesterday. Arnold. He's a training buddy of mine. Oh, His partner Sylvester misses training me buddy. If you see Arnold around, let me know, will you? Can't finish my workout menu without him. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for him. This dude just like, what the? He just like, I talked to him and he just started working out, man. This town's weird. What's in here? It's a room. It's a conference room. Ooh, what's on the TV? Just weather report. This probably this pr person probably has nothing to do with. That's very very. Uh, um, he's the killer the whole time. Dumbbell. Zach, we found Arnold. <laughs> Let's get him back to George. I guess it's a cute name for a dumbbell. <laughs> I thought Arnold was a person. I didn't realize Arnold was a dumbbell. Gray squirrel keys. Key holder with a gray squirrel attached to it. The key belongs to the sheriff. Oh, we found the keys to the cabinet. I have solved your Arnold. So they lost Arnold in the kitchen, which is kind of ironic. You're trying to get fit. May what it takes. Hey. Agent Morgan, did you, you just start working out in front of me again. <laughs> this is not a normal reaction, sir. When someone talks to you, you don't just start doing squats in front of them. It's not a normal thing. <laughs> oh, got dark and he's grunting. Oh, <laughs> Arnold. Well done, Agent Morgan. Now I can work out <coughs> using my normal workout menu. Good to hear that. Uh, here's a little something to show you my appreciation. Oh, God. Don't. It's all right. You don't have to. Arnold and Seville. So that makes us even. He needs some friends who aren't so dumb. What's this room? Locker room? Oh. George Locker. Looks like it's seen quite a use. We found more squirrel keys. How many missing keys are there? George? Some old tires. Some cones. Some more keys. Ooh, there's something downstairs. Da 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 da. Ill gotten goods. Oh, it's the jail. That, that kind of makes sense. What's going on in here? More keys! Da, 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 da. I guess we go in here now? Into the material room? <clears throat> Surely one of these 20 keys must work. You look somewhat nervous, though I sense an inner strength in him. He's serious and an excellent... That word is cook! How do I know he's an excellent cook? I, I guess look how he stands. That is the sign of a chef right there. The weather that makes him an able deputy is another story. 
I think I think uh, our agent here has a little crush. Is it this one? You found the key. I think so. Is this it? Ah, uh, you don't know your squirrels, do you? What? This isn't the right key holder. This is a Siberian flying squirrel. It's closer to a land-based squirrel. What? The Siberian. You sure do know a lot about squirrels. How was I supposed to know? I was never given information to know what the squirrel key I was looking for. How can you insult me like that? You never said... What Did, did he ever tell me what the key was on? Uh, 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 curvy tail. You said it had a curvy tail, right? Yeah. You found the key. Yes, a southern flying squirrel. Thank you so much. I'll bring the files right in, so... I'm sorry, please, I missed the uh, squirrel lore. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18, she just recently graduated from high school this year. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But for the time being, she was working in the A&G diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally, Anna's father died in an accident in the lumber mill when she was a child. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. Da, da. It must be nice. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. Where in town can I get these? Well, actually... Ooh, the crush intensifies. I, I baked them myself. Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. <laughs> Let's get going. The Greenvale General Hospital is down the road by the lake. It's too far to walk. Come on. Get in the car. If I'm riding in a car, George, I prefer to be the driver. Can you provide a car for me? What are you talking about? You don't even know how to get there. Which is another good reason for me to drive, George. I need to learn my way around town. <laughs> oh, man. It's raining. You told me it wasn't... Alright, we got windshield wipers. We got headlights. Where's the mirror? What is the speed limit? Hard to go to the speed limit if you don't have any speed limit signs. Break! Beep, beep, beep. Like my uh, four point turn there. Well, we're in the middle of a homicide investigation. Keep your mind on the matter at hand. <laughs> He's right, Agent York. Oh. You still don't know your way around. Concentrate on driving us to the hospital. I'm going there, guys. We did it. We made it to the Greenville Hospital. Hello, <laughs> Sheriff. Oh, God. Those braces. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. FBI agent. The computer room is where our employees share a computer. Very nice to meet you, too. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. But how did you know I was FBI? <laughs> Easy. None of the police in this town wear cologne. <laughs> there he is. How many computers are in the computer room? We couldn't find him. Fiona needs to check her information. No, I don't think so. Does the doctor like playing games by any chance? What do you mean? There's a message on the computer, and a card key already set in place. The king passes the rook and meets the bishop. Oh, God. The knight takes a pawn along for the queen. What does that all mean? Do I have to memorize this? It's a simple puzzle. Zach, let's take him up on his challenge. You can do this, right? No. <laughs> no, I can't. King passes rook and meets bishop. Knight passes the rook to meet the bishop. Okay. King passes rook. 
Okay, to meet the bishop. King passes the rook. What? I don't understand this. I'm too dumb. Like, that doesn't, like, is, is it really just the pieces in order? That makes no sense, right? Is it this simple? Knight. King passes rook and meets bishop. Knight takes a pawn to the queen. Checkmate. The doctor awaits below with the deceased. Another code? But there's nowhere to insert a password. More games. She's in the I'm morgue, you dumb. Call Usha up here right now. She's in the morgue no with the dead George. body. Doctor Usha is below with the deceased, with Anna. Duh. Below being underground, I take it. Where the morgue Simple. is. Simple. There. Even then I can figure that one out. The mischievous architect of this little game. Nah. We did it. Did you find Dr. Johnson? No, not yet. I'm joining a little battle of wits with him right now. A battle of wits? <laughs> ah, you seem to be having fun, Agent York. We are looking for stairs. Ah, I found the stairs. I have solved your stair puzzle. Into the dead house? Dead, dead room. Dead room. Now what? Huh. Uh, oh. What? Why is that door locked and this one unlocked? Asha, sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, you made Where did the other people come from? Let's get started, shall we? Usher Johnson, doctor. FBI One doctor. Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. Everyone, Everyone calls, calls me that. that. We don't have much time. Jesus. We need those autopsy results. Next time, on a dill pickle. us without obstructing an investigation. You've angered the monarch. From the onset of rigor mortis, the stiffening of the muscles, the time of death is estimated to be between 20 and 2200 hours. Uh, that's still quite early for such a crime to take place. Yeah? Note that there are two exterior wounds, pressure marks around the neck, and a long cut running from chest to abdomen. Blood marks on her right hand tell us she was gripping something round in her right hand. <laughs> Everyone looked at their hand. Now, I first thought death by suffocation due to the marks on her neck. But after further investigation, I now have a different conclusion. Oh? The direct cause of death was loss of blood from the wound. The big chest wound that we saw? Which means she was cut up while she was still alive. Ugh. The most tragic thing, however, was that she was unable to speak her story to anyone who could hear her cries. Oh? Why? The perpetrator cut out Anna's tongue. Oh, okay. Now he watched as the blood pumped. Is uh, our agent going to correct him now? Grew cold. Now, a case in Seattle in 1985 was much like... Usher, please, limit your report to your findings as a doctor. Criminal profiling is my job. So, so. You're wrong, also. See? Told you. Anna died fully, deeply, painfully aware of what was happening to her. But, uh... From her lack of resistance, I'd say that Anna's injuries happened very quickly. Unable to speak, she was then left to cry herself to death. Zach, it's all starting to come together. The perpetrator stayed with her for at least two hours until it stopped raining. At the estimated time of her death, it was still raining. But you can still see tear marks on her cheeks. That means she was killed under a roof somewhere. Hmm. 
She was then carried into the woods after it stopped raining. Hmm. <clears throat> there, there's one other thing. Her tongue was removed with a very blunt knife. In fact, it's more likely it was simply chopped off. Chopped off? Asha, are you a passionate man? Oh, hell. Oh. Not particularly, I mean, but I am man enough to shoot the mole. <laughs> George, how about you? I'm very passionate. Yes. Especially when it comes to women. But I don't see what that has to do with anything. George, the perpetrator is just like you. He's passionate about women. He's a passionate kisser. Oh. As was a of death. Ah, the perpetrator bit off Anna's tongue. <laughs> we'll never get a dental print from a wound like this. But this is still a big lead. Jackpot sack. This case is now under the jurisdiction of the FBI. Ooh. I'm assuming command. I'll need you to assist me in the investigation. What in the hell do you mean, Agent Morgan? I know I said I was passionate, but you can't. <laughs> I did this. That's not why I'm assuming command, George. You're a suspect just as much as every other passionate man on Earth. Let me show you something. Oh. There you go. Amazing, huh? I'm sure Amazing. you have a lot of questions, but most of the details are top secret. I have lots of questions. I have to sign the release. Just give me a moment. Very well. I'll go on ahead. I can't take it any longer down here. They're gonna be mad. Bishop takes queen. His rook takes your queen. Then your knight takes rook. And checkmate. Ooh. That was... Uh, my first victory in the Grandmaster ranking. <laughs> Hacker man. Is this in my mind or is this actually happening? Zack, they're here. They're here. I am going to call it here though. This seems like a decent place for stopping. I am enjoying it. I will probably continue playing through this because I am sucked into it and I must know what's going on now. What the hell's happening to the clock? <laughs>